Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today, we need to have a little bit of a look at, quite frankly, very exciting news. And that news is, God Packs are back. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't lucky enough to get one in my opening, which is very sad. But over in VMAX Climax, the possibility of opening a God Pack has returned. But weirdly more specific than we've seen in the past. Now, for anyone that's wondering, we have seen God Packs before. God Packs are... Well, look, they're not for every Pokemon TCG set. They are, in fact, generally for these high-class packs. Now, for those of you that are new, God Packs generally refer to a pack where every card in the pack is a secret rare, a pack which is absolutely phenomenal. So, we first saw these back in Tag All-Star, Sun and Moon 12A, which is kind of the precursor to VMAX Climax, which is kind of cool. And you can see here... And this image that was out at the time, we've got a bunch of cards, including full art supporters, full art Pokemon, and that Eevee. Yeah, it's really rather amazing. Alternate art tag teams. It's, it's a really rather ridiculous pack of cards. The kind of pack that everybody would be delighted to go and open. Then we saw them come again round again with Shiny Star V. So you can see here, you know, what we've actually got is a pack where seven of the cards are small shinies. We've got Dedene, we've got Center Scorch, Dartrix, Minchino, Hatram, Inteleon, and Colossal. We've got two shiny Pokemon V in Cramorant and Grimmsnarl, and a shiny Dragapult V Max. So all ten of those cards are now were shiny, seven regular, and three Vs or V Maxes. Well, it turns out in VMAX Climax, they're back. Shout out to lovely Primal Lugia for making us aware of this. But what's really weird is that they're actually coming in a very specific way. And it turns out that there are essentially three different versions of God Packs. And I want to start off with what I consider to be the weirdest of them, because it's really quite specific. Now, these are 10-card packs, and essentially, one of the options you have here is basically getting all 10 of the Gala Gym Leaders. So, in this pack here, which has gone and been tweeted out by Arinko underscore Poke, what we see here is a 10-card pack, and on the right, you've got B, so we're starting off with the best one. Then, next to that, we've gone and got Raihan. And then next to that, you've got yourself a Kabu, I'm fairly sure. And here we are really challenging my ability to recognize cards based on the Japanese gym leader name and the a small left-hand section of the card. Next to Kabu, you've got yourself a Milo there. That was nice and easy. Milo's all kinds of green. Then coming up next, you've got Gordy, which is, I think it's fair to say, the one that nobody actually really wants to pull, but it's there anyway. Next to Gordy, you've got yourself Alistair, who, who doesn't love Alistair. Next to Alistair, you've got yourself a Melanie there. I mean, Melanie, to be fair, is like a super playable card, so that's really kind of cool. Next to Melanie, we've got Nessa. And that's a, you know, quite a fan favorite Pokemon trainer, I, I think is fair to say. Next to Nessa, you got yourself an Opal. And then, of course, you've got Piers there as well. Remember, because of the way Sword and Shield was done, there were two gyms, whereby, depending on whether you were playing Sword or Shield, they had different gym leaders. So, eight gyms, but with two extra gym leaders because of the two different versions, that leaves ten gym leaders. So, one of the god packs you can get, and apparently this is a thing that's been pulled by a bunch of people, is literally just pulling all ten of the Gala gym leaders, which is extremely weird. Now, a second type of god pack I have not been able to find a picture of yet, and that makes me really sad, unless I find it before I upload the video, in which case I'll pop it in right now. But otherwise, it essentially brings you 10 of the other full art supporters. Now, it is important to note that the full art supporters in general are 23, 
So I don't know exactly whether you could get Gala Gym Leaders in the other type of God Pack, or whether they're only in the Gala Gym Leader God Pack, but even if not, you're not getting the other 10. Now, as it stands at the moment, the three best of the Full Art Supporters are Gloria, Gala Friends, and Ace Roller. So getting a God Pack with all three of them in, which seems eminently possible, incidentally, that would be just absolutely ridiculous. Like, you'd get three of the very best cards in the set. And to be fair, at the moment, Gala Friends and Gloria are trending as number one and two. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully, we'll see a picture of that one soon. The third type of God Pack which has gone and been spotted, and it really does seem like there are three different types of God Packs, and that is it, is basically a mixture of character rares and character super rares. And from what I'm seeing, and there's no guarantee at the moment, but from what I'm seeing, it looks very, very likely that these kind of god packs come with five character rares and five character super rares. As a side note, in terms of pull rates, what we're generally seeing per box is three character rares with maybe a fourth and one guaranteed character super rare. So getting a god pack with five character rares is nice, because you generally get three in a box. But getting one pack with five character super rares, bearing in mind they're one per box, that is absolute next level redonkulously awesome. So the pack we got on the screen here, you've got yourself Jasmine with Bronzong. Bronzong moves a load of energy around, that's um, a pretty cool card. You've got Dedene coming in here. Who doesn't love a, a little bit of the old Dedene? And Dedene's a weird one to me. It's weird. Furisode Girl Kali. And I'll be honest with you, I did need Primal Luke give help on that one. I'm pretty good on these, but I'll be honest with you, that one I did need a little bit of a push. You've got yourself your Mareep coming in with Elisa. This is one of the cards I am very fond of. This is extremely cool. You've got yourself Baynet with Phoebe, and given that my niece is called Phoebe, I feel like this is a card I should get for her and frame. I don't know. I want to get all my family obsessed with Pokemon like I am, because why not? And then you've got your Kingdra with Claire, one of the earlier ones we had revealed. And then moving over into the character Super Edge, you've got Corviknight V, which is all right. You know, it, it, it's fine. You've got yourself Crobat V, Oh, I should say Corviknight's with Cabby, and I love that Cabby's in there. We've well, got yourself Crobat V with Silver, and obviously, you know, Crobat is an amazing card. It's your draw engine, sees a huge amount of play, that's amazing. One thing I absolutely adore, and I think this is brilliant, is they actually, in this one pack, got Rapid Strike, Urshifu V, and Rapid Strike, Urshifu V Max. So that makes me happy you've got the V there. And then, like I say, two V Maxes. We've got you have your Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. These are both with mustard, I should say. And then you've got yourself Shadow Rider Calyrex coming in here. Who doesn't love Shadow Rider? And this is a top tier deck, right? Shadow Rider Calyrex is a proper top tier deck. That is extremely cool. Coming in, of course, I should mention with Victor. And that, you know, that is a ridiculous pack. An absolute ridiculous pack. Here's the thing, though. With these kind of packs, you know, the lovely Antoine Boulet, with whom I did my opening, opened this pack. And this isn't a god pack, it's a regular pack. But, because of the way the rarities are actually done, you see there is a character rare with Melanie and Frostmoth. A character super rare with Duraludon, VMAX and Raihan. And a boss's orders Lysander Full Art. Because they all take different spots in the packs. And that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. So even if you don't get yourself a quote-unquote god pack. Also, I adore the fact that Antoine had to be the one to get this pack with Malamar as well. That makes me extremely happy. So basically, even if you don't get a god pack, it's not the end of the world. Because it is still really, really cool. 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is rather lovely and rather awesome. God packs are back. And like a chance, we don't know, we don't have any real idea of how rare they are. You're talking one every few cases. They're very, very rare. You, you are not likely to get one even a little bit. But I know that in a previous set, the lovely Stephen Kent, he of Playscape Games, did open a God pack in the past. So it's not impossible, ladies and gentlemen. It's not impossible. For now, I just want to know what you think about this, and I want to know how much you want to get yourself a god pack. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.